What's up, everybody? Steven here, the Horror Freak 85. Uh, got some mail today from a friend and fellow Polonia pal, Jeff Kirkendall. Uh, he went ahead and sent me some movies, which I will be reviewing in July 8th through 15th, which I had talked about uh, prior. I'll do an official announcement, too, uh, with more information, but obviously those will be the dates. Uh, some movies that I will be reviewing, and this is what he sent me. So we got Terror of the Master, which I'm not really sure what it's about. Um, I know he either wrote it, directed it, both, or act and acted in it. Uh, yeah, all these movies he either was a part of either behind the scenes or in front. All right, so we got that one. And then the next one is The Hunt. And then Halloween Horror Tales. And there's the back. Bloody Stories of the Macabre. Halloween Horror Tales is an anthology horror movie featuring four stories. Die Laughing is about a psychotic killer clown stalking his victims. And the, and the horror hostess, a movie screen queen, gets more than she bargained for. The Bad Flower is a Nietzsche run amok tale. And The Hunt tells the story of an FBI agent investigation series of brutal murders in a small town let's see oh the hunt i wonder oh i wonder if this is like a movie of that short story i guess i'll find that out all right next one the temptress three to murder very scary productions presents the temptress starring jennifer here i'm gonna read it get it closer uh and then i'll show it to you uh, okay, so we got Jennifer Byrne, Heather Blossom Brown, James Corrales, Timothy J. Hatch, Mary Kay, uh, Hilko, sorry if I pronounced any of these names wrong, uh, Jennifer Leskovich, Amy Naple, and Karen Wallingfield. Uh, Co-producer is uh, Tim Hatch, produced by Jeff Kirkendall and James uh, Corrales. Um, it's written and directed by Jeff Kirkendall. Here's the back. Yeah, it looks like this is a special edition, so that's pretty cool. Three to Murder. Um, it's a 1999, 40 minutes. Uh, the 1999 crime drama Three to Murder was a short prequel to The Temptress, produced with upstate New York filmmaker uh, Timothy J. Hatch. It was one of Jeff Kirkendall's early video shorts. It is presented here in a new remastered version. And then we got The Temptress, uh, 2002, follows the exploits of Karen, Rachel, and Tina, three women living a relatively subdued suburban existence. Their peaceful nights quickly become come to an end when the evil and powerful vampire Angelique pays the ladies a visit. With the help of her followers, she soon focuses a confrontation between the two groups as the past comes to life and secrets are revealed. Other characters involved in this battle include a mild-mannered young man and a sadistic jewel thief. It says, there's something of the Ed Wood about Jeff Kirkendall from Blog Spear. Uh, this movie was well put together, especially for a low-budget independent company, Vamps Carnival. I can't read what that says. Some, oh, Vamps Carnival of Chaos. The Temptress is a low-budget film that offers a campy vibe, an interesting story, and the promise that it will never bore you, the bloody good horror page. Uh, three to Murder runtime is 40 minutes. The Temptress runs 68 minutes. Uh, it's got deleted scene and two trailers. So, that's the last one there. Or, I mean, one more. I mean, that's the last of that. And then the last one is Children of Camp Blood. There's only one Camp Blood. I think he said he had a cameo in this one. This was a bonus one that he had sent me here. So, I appreciate that. And I'll read the back. The clown is always at Camp Blood. Some survivors have gotten away, but you never really escape Camp Blood. In this new spin-off, Children of Camp Blood, teenagers gather at a remote retreat to work out their fears of the killer clown. When their fears become real, the clown is their only worry, and blood and guts are the beginning of their nightmare. Sterling Entertainment, Hell's Highway Qua, and Mark Polonia, Feeders, Empire of the Apes, keep Camp Blood series alive with the new cult classic, Children of Camp Blood. 
Extras include Children of Camp Blood trailer and slideshow, Invasion of the Empire of the Apes trailer, Oculus 2 trailer, Camp Blood, Oculus and Axe Grinder box sets, YouTube reviews. Uh, let's see. It's starring Samantha Coolidge, Ryan Dalton, James Kelly, Nathan Madonna, Tim Hatch, and Jeff Kirkendall, Jamie Morgan, and Steve Desperia. And again, I apologize if I say any names wrong. So, all right. So that's uh, the movies I got from Jeff, which I'll be checking out July 8th through 15th. And I'll do another post about that. All right. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Let me know if you've seen any of these or uh, which ones you're most eager to uh, hear a review on. And I'll consider doing that one first. All right. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, hit that bell for notifications, and see you next time.